Secretary of State Katie Hobbs is threatening legal action against Cochise County. The county is considering hand counting its ballots in addition to the machine count. Now, supporters say they're trying to restore public faith in elections, but the county attorney says that this is illegal. Fox 10's Irene Snyder live to break it down. Uh, people want the hand count to augment the machine count, right? Well, John and Christina, good evening. Basically, what they want at this point is they want to have a hand count at basically to as a backup for the machine count, just in case something were to go wrong, something they already do. They already have 2% of their vote hand counted. Now they want 100%. This has been an ongoing debate now for weeks. A Republican group first brought the idea to the table. They say they have the volunteers all ready to go, nearly 140 volunteers all ready to go to hand count those ballots. The County Board of Supervisors is considering hand counting all their ballots, in addition to the machine count for the 2022 midterms. County Recorder David Stevens says they already have 140 Republican volunteers who would be supervised by the County Elections Director. He says that's enough people to get the work done. The county is already required to hand count 2% of the ballots, but that requires using Republican and Democratic volunteers. That's the, uh, the, the method or the means for doing the 2%. They think if we do a random sample, uh, you get a good, a good look at if the machine tabulation was valid or not. This week, Hobbs sent a letter to the county saying she would take legal action if they go through with the hand counting. She says hand counting is prone to human error, adding that it could, quote, potentially violate Arizona's requirement that results not be provided publicly until after the polls close on election day. The county attorney warned the board last week changing election procedures this late in the game is illegal, and the board does not have the power to do so. Ann English, a Democrat, called the consideration of this 100% hand count foolish, illegal, and ill-conceived. But another supervisor, Republican Peggy Judd, argues they're not changing election procedures for voters. We, we tried to make it clear to her at that time, the hand count is not part of the voting process. So we're not changing election procedures. She adds the whole point of the hand count is to restore public faith in the election system. People have lost confidence over the last 10 years or so in elections, and I think it's because we've taken it out of the people's hands, really, and put it in the hands of computers. And the board will be voting on that hand count on Monday. They say they're still looking for, for some Democrat volunteers. Right now, the 140 they have are all Republican. Reporting live tonight at the state capitol, I'm Irene Snyder for Fox 10 News. Irene, thanks.